October is the best time to add new landscape plants to your yard. Those roots are gonna have plenty of time to get established before it gets hot. Landscape plants for the Arizona desert was recently updated, just in time for October planting. It's full of plants that are desert adapted and grow well here in Arizona. Whenever you're adding any plant to your landscape, there are a few key points to keep in mind. Look at the sunlight patterns in your yard and make sure that that plant can handle the sunlight that it receives. Check the plant label or the planting guide to see the mature size of the plant. They look so cute in their little nursery pots, we often have no idea how large some of these plants can become. It's essential to give the plant enough room to grow so that you don't have to constantly prune and shape that plant. Give it enough room from the beginning and the plant will be happier. It's tempting to want a yard full of big plants right away, but look for the smallest transplants. They'll adapt better to conditions in your yard rather than to conditions at the nursery. Smaller plants are also less likely to be root bound. That means they've been in their container for too long and their roots are circling and that often stunts them and they don't transplant well. Once you've decided what to plant, here are a few tips. Dig a hole, not any deeper than the plant pot. Burying plants too deep is a common reason why they die. The diameter of the hole should be three to four times as wide as your plant. That loosens the soil around the plant so those roots can spread. Once you've dug your hole, fill it all the way up with water. You want that water to drain out fairly quickly from that hole. If there isn't good drainage, your plant's roots will rot. That's another way to kill your plant. And finally, when you plant, put the plant in the hole and fill it back in with native soil. Don't amend it. Otherwise, the plant will stay put in that little area. We want the plant's roots to spread out so they have lots of opportunities to find nutrition and water. If you need to add or replace an existing drip system, October is the best time to do it. All that digging is disruptive to plants' roots, and this gives them plenty of time to recover before temperatures get hot next summer. As temperatures cool this month, you're transitioning to watering much less. You're helping those plants go into a winter dormancy. You'll often water landscape plants between every seven to 21 days. As always, the best way to tell is to check your soil before you water. If there's still moisture in the top couple of inches of soil, wait to water. That way you're pushing it out a little bit further. It's easy to kill plants with overwatering. Most landscape plants, and especially desert adapted plants, don't require extra fertilization. You don't need to feed those plants any time of year. That's one less thing to worry about.